everyone. It's Christian Burt for Red Carpet Report on Mingle Media TV. We're at the SLS Hotel today in Los Angeles, California. It's GBK Productions gifting suite for the MTV Movie Awards. We've seen Ernie Hudson around. We've seen Josh Sussman from Glee and Frankie Munez. We're going to talk to all of them, so come along for the ride. All right, since we're here for MTV Movie Awards, I want you to know what your best draw-dropping moment is. Here are the nominees. We've got right. James Franco, 127 Hours, Justin Bieber, The Biebs, all right, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and Ellen Page in Inception, Natalie Portman, Black Swan, and Steve-O, Jackass 3D. I'm not going to lie, I've only seen one of those movies, and um, I, I bet you can't guess which one I've seen. <laughs> the Biebs. <N> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, okay, uh, Jack Astor Day. But <laughs> I saw Black Swan, which, that was pretty uh, jaw-dropping. It was a great I was movie. I, I enjoyed it. She won the Academy Award for it, why yeah, not? Yeah, so if she won the Academy Award, she deserves the MTV Movie Award. I mean, come on. It's a deal, all right. Now, I saw you at the Toyota Grand Prix this year. Yes, yes, I was there racing again and had a lot of fun with that. It was, it was cool. Yeah, now you've had a, a great opportunity. I mean, was that the, your first opportunity when you were a lot younger to race in the Grand Prix and that sort of got you into the sport? Yeah, yeah. Um, I won the pro celebrity race in 2004 and it, pretty much from then on I knew I wanted to race cars, you know, and I, I've been doing it professionally the last couple of years until I got hurt. Uh, so I've taken the last year off to heal and now I'm venturing back that way and going to be back full time in uh, 2012. So. Oh, you are? Yeah, yeah. That's exciting. What racer, what, you know, NASCAR, Nationwide, Indy? I'll be in uh, Indy Lights. Okay. So like the development league into the IndyCar series, hoping to get into IndyCars in 2013. So but we'll see, you know, I got to got to work my, my work my butt off to, to get there but yeah I would imagine so and now after having an accident uh, what's it like because I know when I've gotten into a fender bender getting behind the wheels a little scary yeah. the first time well it's one of those things like if you're gonna race cars professionally you can't have any fear you know like it, it can't even be on your mind because you're gonna be slow because you know you're talking about the difference of like you know a few tenths of a second being first and last place you know and like it takes four tenths of a second to blink your eyes so if you think of like how like small time that is but it's so hard to you know I don't know I, I, I don't have any fears you know I I think it's cool and I love it so that's all that matters as long as you have a passion for what you do because I mean I drive a Prius so I'm literally like eh, 30 yeah. miles an hour in the yes slow lane. yes uh, just when you see me just make sure you move over I probably will because I'm like I would never I, I mean just watching the race itself it, it's intense just watching and that's sometimes on the slower side is the celebrity pro race right uh, that's extremely <laughs> slow <laughs> I felt like I was like walking compared to the, the proper race cars that I was driving yeah. so uh, I mean it's still a lot of fun it's a great event for you know a great cause Toyota puts on such a good event but uh, I was I was definitely it was painful not being in the big cars you know watching my friends who I've been racing with race those you know so I have to say I think this year was the slowest race I've seen in the celebrity I have, I'm there every year and I was like it looks like they're riding about 15 miles an hour I know it's much faster than that yeah. but it was like well especially on TV I mean if you watch on TV even the Indy cars look slow but they're going 200 you know so uh, it's just kind of like that depth perception not you know but if you stand right on the track you see them go by you go okay they're going fast that's pretty scary so did you watch last weekend's Indy 500 I did I was actually there oh, you were. Uh, not for the race but for the whole week my, my old teammate is Simona Di Silvestro who uh, you know was racing the 500 and you know so I was there supporting her and then I'm in a band so we had a show on Sunday night so I had to leave Indy to fly to Virginia Beach for a show and now I'm I don't know you're all over the place uh, I don't know <laughs> <laughs> all right well good luck we'll look for you on the racetrack next year Thank for 2012 so pleasure meeting you thanks Frank